Hi everyone, this is Saharan Sub here once again. I'm running a series of interviews and asking players in the blockchain space, in the NFT space about their experiences so far. So here with me today, I have Matthew, Matthew Godwin, one of our very first players in, in Nigeria. Um, he's part of Mary Circle right now. And I just want to ask him, what's his um, feeling about being part of Merit Circle in general. Merit Circle as a general, yeah, it's a DAO, that is a decentralized autonomous organization. Yeah, so basically it's um, a company that is not in the fiscal. Yeah, so being part of Merit Circle personally to me, yes, as a coach, the only African coach for now in Merit Circle, yes. So what I do, I train Africans. Yes, I train the African communities, those who have issues with the game or people who just join the game and they want to get to know the game better. Yes, just basically training them until they become masters at each of the different games yeah, in Merit Circle. Yeah. Awesome. So Matthew has risen from just being a player into coaching other people in the, within the African community Merit Circle. The reason is that the learning curve in most of these games are quite high and people don't know about it as well because the entry barrier is also a bit on the high side. So Matthew has become a coach in Axie Infinity. He has been coaching other people and teaching them how to play. But this is a problem that will be solved by V3 in, in Axie Infinity, whereby they'll be free to play Axis, where you can actually start playing the game and get to know about it before you can get on-chain Axis that you can use to earn and battle across the Axie metaverse. So Matthew, um, being, a, being, being a member of Merit Circle and also a coach now, what is your experience and what other games have you played in the ecosystem? Aside Axie Infinity, I've been opportune to play um, Wonder Hero. Yes, so it's, um, it's an, let's say, um, how would I put it, an RPG game, that's a role play game. Yes, it's similar to Axie Infinity, yeah that consists of, um, let's say, they fight in a game, like Axe Infinity with characters, NFT characters, and then when you play it, the any potential of the game is, is right now it's random. Yeah, it's random drops, and um, yeah, let's say, for the time I've played it, it's been fun. Yeah, though, I started it recently, but yeah, it's been fun, and I've also been opportunity to learn from other coaches in Merit Circle about the game, and yeah, I'm becoming better at it. Awesome. So one of the things we're trying to achieve in the blockchain gaming space is about not just earning potential, but the, f the games being fun to play. So that's one of the key criterias in creating a game. They should be fun to play. Can I play this game for a longer period? If it doesn't earn me anything, can I keep playing it every day? So Matthew just mentioned games being fun, but also most of the games are also termed as play to earn. Have you really earned anything? Like, is there an any potential as you play the game or being part of Merit Circle community? Is that you earn something? You don't have to tell us how much you earn, but do you really earn and how does it, how has it really impacted your day-to-day -day life? Concerning the earning part, of course, I can say earning in these games have, has been significant. Obviously, yeah, where I was by this time last year is different from where I am now. At least I'm, I'm, I'm able to sustain myself. Yes, with basic needs and probably more than that. Yeah, so it's been, it's been good. It's something that can benefit other people. Yes. So Matthew just, he, he plays fun, fun game and he ends from the game. And he says his life has changed between the time he started playing and where it is currently. So this is what we're trying to do at Merry Circle, educating people about Web 3.0 and helping them to end or giving them a potential extra stream of income to earn something for themselves remotely on their mobile phone on their pc so apart from this you've spoken about the, the the community being fun or the games being fun to play it was spoken about um the earning potential as well and it's changing your life your personal life as well is there any other thing what about the community have you made friends in the community how global is this community the merit circle one of course yeah um through merit circle I've, I've made friends of course filipinos mainly yeah there are, are people from other parts yeah but mainly filipinos i think um they consist they constitute most part of the community i've, I've made friends with um let's say the game managers even the head of community yeah we communicate we flow well with each other wow so 
shout out to the Filipinos for making blockchain gaming a global phenomenon. I also, the first documentary I watched about Axe Infinity was made with the Filipino players. And Axe Infinity has been awesome. And we're building on that at Mary Circle, building a global community, building across Africa as well. We have players across nine African countries already, as at now in 2022, February 2022. And we believe, we hope to cover all um, African states and bring on board many young people to learn, to earn, and to battle across the metaverse and to understand the blockchain space and be first adapters. Any final words for us, Matthew? Yeah, what, what I can say finally is um, wherever you are, just reach out. Yeah, there is something that can change your life drastically without much, without much stress. Of course, there is skilled part of it, but yeah, it's better than even the any potential is more than the average income of most countries. I can say for Nigeria, yeah, it's more than that. So I, I, I would say reach out. Yeah, reach out and join in in this thing that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we don't take anything up front from everybody. Mary Circle bears the burden. We take the risk of the assets and we help young people um, with, the, with the initial investment that we've made in these games. We have about 17 games as at, as at now. The, the, and three of them are live. We're hoping Flappy Bird will also come live very soon. And um, yeah, so watch out for me, Saharan Sub, in your country, in Africa. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Peace out.